Our camera's on one man in a rich vein of form and number one on the scoring charts. Can he do it again today, live on EA TV? And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary. And joining me is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And all about action from League One coming right up. What a match this promises to be, Lee. Well, thank you, Derek. The excitement at the start of any game is almost tangible. Looking forward to this one. The crowd are up for it. The players look like they're going to have a really good go at this game. Can't wait. So the initial 11 for the home side. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them. But it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. The MK Dons starting 11. The emphasis perhaps on keeping things tight at the back, Lee. Yeah, I really like this system. Very fluid look about it. It can be five at the back when you haven't got the ball, but those wing backs can push into midfield to make a 3 4 3 formation. The width supplied by the wingers to a lone striker. Thank you. Enjoy the game. And now they get the ball rolling. Cissé. He's using his strength to good effect and taken away. Moving it forward. Crossing possibilities. But well, he could run onto it here. It looks promising. And it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Well, as we see again here, it's a beauty of a ball over the top. But then there's still plenty to do from here. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he just about keeps him at bay and finishes with a plum. Great goal. The opening goal of the game, then. Well, there's been quite the focus on him coming into today's game. And the reports have been confirmed. He's decided to end what has been a brilliant career at the end of this season. A huge loss for the club, you've got to say, Lee. Well, how do you fill that gap, Derek? Such a great player, a senior pro. Pros like him with his CV are worth a waiting goal, a manager's dream. He'll be sadly missed. Cissé. Poor pass under no real pressure. Brown. And they need to get tighter. An astute piece of defending. Ah, what can they produce on the flank? 
Cisse. Kenny. And the ball's gone. Fraser. Brown. Now let's see what they can do here. Can he finish this? Has a go. And still an opportunity. Almost what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. Intercepting it intelligently. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Cissé. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Dangerous looking attack. Just couldn't get it through. And they know they need to stop him. Defensive efficiency personified. Oh, good vision. And it might be, and now it is there for him. He was staring right at an open goal, Lee, but could not finish. Well, I'm not a goal scorer, but even I would have put that one in. Oh, he knows that could have been the game right there. You can see his frustration as well. Kenny. They've lost it. Ball played nicely. And a throw in it's going to be. Thompson. Cissé. Kenny. What can he do from here? And able to get a body in the way. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Kenny, using his strength to shield the ball. Top class defending. Can Lloyd Sherrod, that's Lloyd Sherrod, please make yourself known to the nearest... Kenny, Thank you. chance to do damage. Well, beaten easily here. Well, a respectable enough effort, but he couldn't extend the lead. Given too much space, why not take the shot on? Good effort. Well, Derek, he's trying to make himself heard down there. Very difficult to hear the coach from the sidelines. It's still very tight, this game. Brown. Moving the ball effectively. A oh, tremendous block.
Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a second goal for Fleetwood Town. 30 minutes played, 2-0. Cheers again, Alan. The hosts are struggling in terms of possession, but on the break, they've been devastating. The pace really hurts defences. They've been electric when they've had the ball. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. There's a slide rule pass. One goal down, but now a corner kick. What about the opportunity from earlier? Let's have another look now, shall we? Short corner it is. Excellent challenge. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Kenny, and he read it well. Warren Ohora. Into the advanced position. Well, a top notch piece of defensive judgment. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. Kenny. That's how to rob them of possession. Warren Ohora. Fraser. Oh, he's given us away. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Can they get in behind them? He got in the way of that cross. Delivered into the box. Perfect tackle. Cross blocked. Warren Ohora. Fraser. And if you're wondering about added time, two minutes it'll be. He's given us away. Untidy on the ball. And with that, the first half draws to a close. And now they get the ball rolling. 
It looks promising. In it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. And it might be. And now it is there for him. He was staring right at an open goal, Lee, but could not finish. Well, I'm not a goal scorer, but... He... Well, a respectable enough effort, but he couldn't extend the lead. Given too much space, why not take the shot on? Good effort. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. And possession given away. Kenny and that is offside and news coming through of a goal on the Peterborough game Alan McAnally can tell us more it's a second goal for Peterborough United 49 minutes played 2-1 thank you Alan McAnally The visitors have totally controlled possession. However, after that, the coach will be disappointed with what they produced. They need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. Well, just the tackle that was needed. Kenny. And providing width. Well, possibilities in the centre. Real danger. And moving the ball nicely. Able to close down the shot. Let's join Alan McAnally now, because I believe there's been a goal in the Ipswich game. Alan. It's a goal for Burton Albion. 54 minutes, please. 1-0. Thanks as ever for the update, Alan. Fraser. On and on he goes. Takes aim. And he's got and scored to level it again. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. But I have to say, after that, the keeper doesn't cover himself in glory. Near post, left exposed, and he's punished. Well, a penny for his thoughts right now, Derek. Plan B, I think, is needed. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Wilkinson. 
Kenny. Plenty of options. Well, possession seeded. Well, someone has found the net in one of the other games. Here's Alan McInerney to tell us more. It's a goal for Oxford United. 58 minutes played, 2-1. Alan McInerney keeping us right up to date. Lyndon Gooch. Who continues his run. Gooch. He could pick out a teammate. And he read it well. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Patient build-up at the moment. He's in behind. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay. It's a very neat piece of deception to get past the defender and then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, 2-1 it is here. And they've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. Fraser. Warren O'Hora. Oh, nice ball. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. Fraser. This is looking threatening. Foiling them effectively. Fraser. Gooch. Can they get in behind them? Cross could be useful. Now let's get details of a goal that's been scored in one of the other games from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Fleetwood Town. 67 minutes played, 3-1. Regular updates from Alan McAnally along the way. There to take it away. Well, the pass not finding its target. And the ball's gone. Well, they keep the ball moving. He's given it away. And he read it well, intercepting it. Cissé. High quality defending. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Oh, a nice looking pass. What can he do from here? And it might be able to clear the danger, at least for now. Well read to ease the pressure.
Mason. And they need to get tighter. Good vision. Can he get onto this? And he takes on the shot. And a fantastic diving save. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And firing it into the area. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. They've got to be really mindful of the time situation, attacking though they might be. Plays it back. Not a great pass. Just listen to the fans here, Derek. They've just kept their noses in front, and these fans are doing their best to push them to the final whistle. I believe there's been a goal in the Peterborough match. Alan McAvally with the details. It's a third goal for Peterborough United. Eight minutes remain. 3-1. Thanks, Alan. On the offensive. A fine reading of the situation. Well, it must be mighty annoying when you can't get near the ball. And offside here. Inside the final five minutes now. How can they find a late leveller? Mason. And the cross is very much on. In position here to protect the ball. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Doughty defending to win the ball back. He's protecting it effectively. Oh, he's given it away. On the attack in the closing phase. Real danger. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Slipshod passing. This is looking threatening. And a chance to whip it in here. Well timed tackle. Shielding the ball superbly. It looks promising. Oh, a lovely incisive pass. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him. Well, here we see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard.
So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome, Lee. Well, Derek, as we said, this team love a goal fest, and they certainly know where the target is. Lovely, lively build-up and a real sharp cutting edge to this lot. Great entertainment, really enjoyable. And now they get the ball rolling. It looks promising. And it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. And it might be. And now it is there for him. He was staring right at an open goal, Lee, but could not finish. Well, I'm not a goal scorer, but... It... Well, a respectable enough effort, but he couldn't extend the lead. Given too much space, why not take the shot on? Good effort. On and on he goes. Takes aim. And he's gone and scored to level it again. He's in behind. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. And he takes on the shot. And a fantastic diving save. It looks promising. Oh, a lovely incisive pass. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him.